Class Test 2, Question 10. Express the following complex numbers in the A plus JB form. Let Z equal E to the J pi over 4. And then we can rewrite that as cos pi over 4 plus J sine pi over 4. Pi over 4 is 45 degrees, if, uh, if that's easier for you. And the sine and the cos of 45 degrees are both 1 over root 2. So we can take 1 over root 2 outside a bracket of 1 plus j. Part 2. e to the minus j pi over 4. So as before, we'll let z equal e to the minus j pi over 4. So z is equal to cos minus pi over 4 plus j sine minus pi over 4. Um, this time, cos is equal to 1 over root 2 and sine is equal to minus 1 over root 2. So we can take the 1 over root 2 outside a bracket of 1 minus j. Part 3. 4 to the e j pi over 3 over root 3 plus j. First of all, let's take the denominator and let that equal z1. So z1 is equal to root 3 plus j. And we'll put this into the r cos theta plus j sine theta form. And in that form, r is equal to root 3 squared plus 1 squared. Root 3 squared is 3, 1 squared is 1, add them together you get 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So r is equal to 2, and theta is equal to 1 over root 3. It's the arctangent of 1 over root 3, which is equal to pi over 6. That's one of the standard triangles that we know. Um, so that means we can write z1 as 2 e to the j pi over 6. If we substitute that back into here, we get z is equal to 4 e to the j pi over 3 over 2 e to the j pi over 6. 2 goes into 4 twice, and dividing e to the j pi over 3 by e to the j pi over 6, we subtract the exponents. And if you think about it, a third minus a sixth will leave you with a sixth. So that means, cancelling those, we get 2 times e to the j pi over 6. Putting this into the cos plus j sine form, we've got 2 outside a bracket of cos pi over 6 plus j sine pi over 6. Cos pi over 6, that's the cos of 30, so that's equal to root 3 over 2, um, and sine pi over 6, which is sine 30, is equal to a half. So we get root 3 over 2 plus j over 2. Take the half outside and cancel with the 2, and we get the final answer of root 3 plus j.